Hello, my name is Steve Nabry. Today we're on a very, very nice 2016 Genoa 64 called Vallata. We're here in November in Mataro um, in a private marina that we use quite often for our clients and find it, it's a really nice environment um, to sell a boat from, also a very secure space if the owner is away um, and wants to make sure the boat's looked after. I've had the pleasure of selling a number of these Jano 64s and in fact um, we have sold this boat um, before to the current owner um, and one of the things that I'm struck by whenever um, people are looking at the Jano 64 compared to other yachts of a similar size and price is the cockpit. The cockpit is absolutely amazing. It's huge. It's extremely well designed. Um, I remember when these boats were first shown, um, I think in Dusseldorf, um, back in, what was it, 2014? And it was breathtaking. You, you, they've really thought it through. You've got loads of lounging space. You've got this great walkthrough um, with the two tables so that you can have um, a, a sunbathing area. That side goes up and down from a switch at the helm. Um, the starboard side is actually fixed. Um, so you've got sunbathing, you've got a massive dining area, you've got comfortable lounging space, great space on passage. Um, you, know, you can tuck yourself up there underneath the, the spray hood in any weather. Um, these aft sections um, are almost like a sunbed, much less um, um, a seating area for the helm. You've got a fridge, you've got a sink. This boat even has the optional um, uh, pop-up barbecue. So you lift up that hatch and then the unit lifts up um, and is super convenient to use. The specification of this particular boat is extremely high. Um, the passerelle, you've got folding cleats, you've got the upgraded um, winches, including a captive mainsail winch, which again is controlled from the helm station, um, as are the um, furling mechanisms for the headsails. It really, for a boat of its size, could not be any easier to sail and handle. Um, we've sailed a number of them. They sail very nicely. Um, this boat benefits from the hydraulics passage package, which I think makes quite a bit of difference, being able to um, adjust the um, mast with the hydraulic backstay as well as the hydraulic vang. You've got hatches here which open up and we'll see later that goes down to the huge owner's cabin. Underneath where I'm stood is a very good sized garage. This particular owner um, uh, has fitted that out with a dive compressor and a rack for diving bottles. As he, partly he also wanted a larger rib, um, which we'll see in a minute, is up on the foredeck. Um, there is so much to like about this cockpit. We'll go and have a look at the foredeck next. Vata's foredeck is great. It provides a really good space for the rib. Sailing-wise, you're really not going to come up here very often. I mean, all of these sails are controlled from the helm. Um, the furling um, mechanisms for the headsails, um, the, even the anchor control is remote to the helm. Um, it really makes the boat super comfortable, super safe, very well suited to a shorthanded or a family crew. Um, again, it's really easy to see why these boats were so amazingly popular. Um, it's worth pointing out, unlike um, most boats, um, she has had the mast painted in black, which looks fantastic. It was done in 2020 by the current owner. Um, the paint is still in very nice condition um, and I think we'll see through a typical ownership. She's had two owners, both um, for four years. 
and the first owner was Canadian and he used the boat to tour around the Mediterranean and spent a season in the Caribbean. Uh, she was located in the Caribbean when we listed her last time and brought back um, to Spain uh, where the current owner purchased her um, and has spent most of his time with the boat in the Mediterranean. The Geno 64 saloon is just fantastic. In Viata's case, it's even better. Um, perhaps the one thing with the Geno 64 in this, the preferred, what I believe is the preferred layout, was, was a small forge um, facing chart table to port. Um, the owner, when he bought the boat, felt that that space hadn't been fully um, utilized and fortunately the boat was located um, next to a yard with a lot of experience of working with Jano and they came up with a whole set of new carpentry, switched around how the fridges work um, and the drinks area and now you've got a really nice comfortable um, skipper's area um, which is I think much better um, than it was when built by Jano. Lots of seating space, good sized dining area. Um, you've got a great feeling of light in the boat. Um, you've got hatches above, um, you've got electric blinds to the eyebrow windows, hull ports so that when you're sat down, you feel a really, really nice connection with the environment. Um, at Anchor, it's a very, very nice place to be. Um, this, I mentioned, is in my view the preferred layout. Um, we'll look at the owner's suite, which lies aft, um, um, once we've looked around the rest of the boat. But what you have here is a really good twin um, passage cabin, um, which is comfortable at sea, but is also more than adequate um, for guests um, um, when you're just pottering around. You've got two very good doubles forward. Um, and even ahead of that, through the starboard side, you go through a nice generous ensuite, and then there's a door there which takes you through to what could be described as a crew cabin, but it's fully fitted out with a, um, a sink and, and toilet and could be used very well by um, children or um, guests for a shorter period of time. Um, I can't see anybody needing a skipper on the boat um, as well designed as this. It really is set up for family and guests. Varta's galley has been fully equipped. You have a wine fridge, you have really nice um, refrigerator and freezer set up. Um, you have a, an induction hob um, and a multi-function um, oven. Um, plenty of workspace. Um, it's very nicely protected um, um, when at sea. Um, lots of storage space and lockers and covers. Plenty of natural light. A very comfortable place to be. It leads through to a day head which is separate and again I think is very useful and of course could be used by those in the um, bunk cabin. And then finally you have what is a truly outstanding owner's cabin. It's very easy to see the benefits of an aft cabin. Um, you're occupying the full beam of the boat. There's good standing headroom to walk around the bed. This is a little bit of intrusion above the bed, but it, it, it's not in any way detrimental. Um, you have a separate um, seat with a vanity desk, or it could be used um, as an office desk. Lots of storage, there's drawers, there's hanging space, um, plenty of lighting options, lots of ventilation. It's very nice having these hatches um, which open to the aft deck. Um, good sized bed and a very good sized ensuite 
um, bathroom. It, 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 it's a great cabin on a, a 64 foot yacht. Thank you.